Hey everyone, it's Joelle and welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm we're just going to be having a chit chat about a topic I've kind of wanted to discuss for a little while. But of course, before we get started, please don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. And if you're the owner of a business, especially a black owned business, please send me an email at shermainjoyelle at gmail.com. And because I'm holding coffee, we won't do the clap, but let's get started. <laughs> this whole topic for today's video, I wanted to discuss basically non-black parents who have biracial children or have adopted black children and neglect to do their hair. They just don't do their hair. And this whole discussion topic was influenced by a story that was shared in a group that I am in on Facebook. Basically, it's a group for mixed people to kind of get together and discuss things and support each other. And one of the stories was shared is a little girl, she's 11 years old. I'm not going to share any like pictures or names or anything because obviously I want to respect this little girl's privacy. I don't want any more attacks on her parents, trust me. They were getting reamed in this entire post that was made on this story, but I can't remember if it was a friend of the family or it was one of the salon owners who shared this story. Basically, it was an 11 year old girl, white mother, black father. The mother brought her into the hair salon, obviously frustrated and was just like, I don't know how to do her hair. I need help. Well, apparently as they are taking this headband off this girl, it's very obvious that her hair has not been done for quite some time. It was very matted. It began locking in some areas. You could tell the girl was basically in pain from her mother trying to do something with her hair. And so the salon owner obviously took this girl in and did her hair for her. Got it all detangled, got it to a much better state than it originally was. Granted, she did straighten her hair, which I don't agree with, and we'll go into that a little bit later. This isn't the first time I've heard stories of these kinds of incidences. Now, for those who are new to my channel, uh, I am biracial, my mother's black, and my father's white, so the opposite of the little girl in this story. I never had issues with not having my hair done. My mother was on top of it, you know, even if it was things like getting a jerry curl, you know, if she couldn't do it herself, she would take us to a salon and have somebody do it for her. Or if she just didn't feel like doing, you know, I had, I used to have relaxers and, and stuff like that. If I, she didn't feel like doing my relaxer, again, she would take me or my sister somewhere to have that done. The reason that this story really irked me is because you're telling me you, your daughter's 11 years old. You've had 11 years. 11 years to learn how to take care of this child's hair before it A, got to the length it was at, B, got to the state it was at. You know, you come in apparently frustrated and begging for help, but it's like, why weren't you on top of this when you pushed that girl out of your crotch? Like, <laughs> like I just, that baffles me and I don't believe in the excuse of, I just don't know the hair type. I just don't know how to take care of it. We live in the age of the internet. Like, you're telling me you couldn't spend a couple hours online YouTubing, Googling how to take care of black hair, mixed hair. Specifically black hair is what we're talking about. People with coily, curly, or afro textured hair. <sighs> the other thing that was also shared in the post is that the father is involved in the, the, the girl's life. I believe that the mother and the father are still together which makes me even more angry because as her black father, you're telling me you let it get to that point. You don't have, and apparently he's also very close with his family. The lady said that he, you know, is in contact with his mothers and sisters and aunties, which makes me, again, very upset because it's like you, you've had all these black women in your life that you couldn't take your daughter to and, and have your wife sit with them and be like, okay, at least show me how to comb the hair, what products I can use, you know, a simple style. Like, they didn't do any of that. You got, it got so bad, you had to go to a hair professional to detangle her hair. I've heard so many stories like this. I grew up with other, a, a few other biracial kids, and their hair always looked crazy. Their hair looked crazy. And, and granted, I was also the only, out of the small group of biracials I went to school with, I was the only one who had a black mother and a white father for them. It was, you know, vice versa, white mother, black father. I'm sure I will be getting stories in the comments. Like, this is not new. 
and it's very frustrating. Uh, I've read other stories that were shared in this group where the white mothers were so frustrated with their daughter's hair that instead of doing it, they just cut it super short. They cut off their hair. Sorry, not sorry. I'm just gonna call it is that's child neglect. I don't know if I should go as far as to say child abuse, but it's neglect. It's neglect. You're telling me you you were so lazy and incompetent that you couldn't go on the internet. You couldn't go down to the salon beforehand. You couldn't ask any black family members. Like what? Like that you have no excuse. You have no excuse. And it gets frustrating to hear over and over and over again these white mothers who will say, I don't know how to take care of ethnic care. It's just so hard. Then you know what? Quit sleeping with black men and quit having their children if you can't learn to take care of those children. Stop adopting black children if you don't know how to take care of their basic needs. I'm tired of it. It's, it's not, that's just laziness. It, it really is. And even if you don't have the knowledge to take care of their hair, at least take them to a salon. Are you, are you kidding me? You're telling me you don't know how to run a comb through that child's hair? It doesn't like occur to you that maybe you should wet it, put some product on it? comb it at least once a week like I don't I don't believe in these excuses that they continue to give again you know once more you know I know that I'm lucky I always tell my mom I'm so lucky to have had you know a black mom that knew how to do or take care of mine and my sister's hair who put in the effort you know to do the you know spend an entire weekend doing the wash day and you know greasing and putting product on our on our hair and scalps and taking the time to braid it up with little barrettes and bobbles or, you know, taking us to the salon to get braided or taking us to the salon to get a jerry curl, you know, just anything to make sure we didn't look a mess. Like, these poor kids, like, now it's, <laughs> it's just, it's just wild. And I think that's also another reason why the natural hair movement was so big is specifically for biracials and those who were adopted into interracial families. What do they call it? Transracial adoption? Interracial adoption? Something like that. But anyway, back on track. I think that's another reason the natural hair movement became, you know, as big as it was. And you start started to see more biracials kind of come into that community. It's because, you know, they were finally learning to A, accept their hair and take care of it. Listen to any other, you know, biracial telling their story about why they went natural. It's because if they had a white mom, they didn't know what the heck to do with it. They were, you know, they had, they went to school looking wild as heck. They had constantly had really dry, matted hair, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But what I'm saying is if you are going to be a non-black parent to a black child or black mixed child, <laughs> you have no excuse. And I don't think anyone's buying an excuse anymore that you don't know what to do with their hair. You're just lazy. You're being lazy and you're being cruel. And to allow them to run around with matted hair, that's that's child neglect. And I will continue to repeat that. I will say that to their face. I don't care. And if you are the black parent to a mixed child, you have, you have a responsibility to step up. And even if you yourself don't know how to take care of the hair, you, you know where you know where to take them. Take them to a family member, take them to a black hair salon who will know how to manage their hair, know what to do with it. Don't take these kids to white hair salons. I'm telling you right now, don't do it. They don't know what they're doing. You know, even that's not an option. That's being lazy. Take it to somebody who looks like them or is from the ethnic side of themselves. Like, you know, I was gonna make this a video on my second channel that I have definitely not been uploading to. That's a story for another day. But because this involved hair, I thought it would be important to put it on my hair channel. I've read many stories of black women also going up to these people in the stores and offering to help take care of their child's hair or point them in the right direction product wise or, you know, giving them tips. You know, that's, that's amazing. You know, even just doing that, it's letting these parents know, like, you can get help. It's not that hard. You're making an excuse to not take care of your child. You know, feeding, bathing, grooming, those are basic needs for anybody. Just because your child has a different hair texture than yours, that's that's not an excuse to just put on the side and be like, they'll figure it out when they're older. No, no, that's traumatizing. That's traumatizing. It's a blow to their self-esteem. They never feel like, you know, they can, they don't know what it's like to really look their best or be 
taken care of because again you're neglecting a need you're neglecting their need to be groomed properly it's just sad and let me clarify you know i know it's not always just a white parent you know it's, i'm talking asian mexican so on and so forth, so forth i'm not here to walk on eggshells around these people take care of your kids hair you birth them take care of them it's as simple as that i'm tired of reading these stories of these kids going through heck and back because their mother won't won't put forward enough research to take care of their to take care of them it's it's pathetic it really is it's, and the fault is also on these black fathers for not stepping up and taking care of their child's needs either if you're involved in their life so i'm fully aware i'm probably gonna rub some people the wrong way but i'm tired again i'm i'm not gonna walk on eggshells when there are children whose needs aren't being met and i'm sure many of you can probably name a few families that you're well aware of that this is the case i'm not saying to go and get nosy and get into everybody's business but if you notice a child's needs not being met i think then you have a right to say something if a child's not being fed you would say something if a kid's not being clothed properly you would say something if their grooming needs are not being met you should say something you should say something hold that parent accountable for being a parent that's their responsibility uh, i've seen workshops available for parents with with children with ethnic hair you know there are so many blogs there's youtube channels you know just anything anything i mean i even went i had a mother reach out to me and i created an entire video for her to help her daughter she sent me pictures of her daughter's hair very tender-headed you know needed help with products and you know a routine i made an entire video for her so you know she knew that there there are resources out there there are people out there that are willing to help you okay you just just don't wait so long like the moment i just like this should have been something you honed in on as soon as you found out you were having a half black child or adopting a black child it's as simple as that but please tell me your thoughts and feelings down in the comments below i'm sure so many of you have stories to share but i hope that you guys enjoyed today's kind of rant more than a chit chat more of a rant but please don't forget to click that subscribe button down below keep blooming i'll see you guys in my next video